We'll discuss that and more as Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Corner. Hi, guys. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to Celebrity Corner. My name is Dorothy Cassisari and I'm so glad to have you here tonight. And thank you to my studio audience for such a warm welcome. You guys are the best. <laughs> wow, wow. <clears throat> what an amazing week it's been. We kicked off the premiere of Celebrity Corner season two last week. We had a big premiere party in New York City where we're airing now. Thank you, which is unbelievable. There's a photo of me with Team members Ali Gentili, one of our associate producers, and Jackie Nelms, who you might uh, actually recognize from our audience. And they are a huge part of the team, and we really appreciate them being there. So we had such a fun time in New York. Um, and speaking of parties, that was not the only party that I attended last week. Uh, New York City was the host of the Super Bowl, and I've been covering these celebrity events for a long time now, my whole career, and my inbox was absolutely flooded with all the hot Super Bowl parties. So I had the chance to attend the 11th annual Leather and Laces party, which was one of the hottest parties of the weekend, and I had a chance to chat with a very handsome gentleman on the red carpet. Uh, this guy was kind of the bad boy of Dancing with the Stars. He was always in the tabloids. Uh, and after I interviewed him, I kind of realized why. Take a look at my interview with Maxim Shermovsky. Max, I know you want a drink, but you're so cute. I have to ask you I one question. I don't want a drink. I just want to go <laughs> Run and in. enjoy you, you want to dance. the architectural design want, of the theater. It's an amazing thing. You want to dance. And Tell us, tell us when we can see more of you now that you're not doing Dancing with the Stars. Where, I mean, isn't it better to be surprised? Well. Like, do you like to be surprised on Valentine's Day? What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, you tell me. You gonna take me out? I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. I'm no. just kidding, I have a husband now. <laughs> so? Maybe he's open-minded, I don't know. All right, well, I'll give you my number after. How about that? I thought you said you have a husband. <laughs> See how quickly the stuff changed? All right, going to go. My husband's going to kill me. Anyway, good to meet you. I mean, what is this guy trying to do? Break up my marriage? No, it was all in fun. And actually, I found out afterwards that uh, Maxim used to date Kate Upton. So if a guy that used to date Kate Upton is even maybe thinking about taking me out for Valentine's Day, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So I want to uh, talk about another thing that happened over the weekends. Um, after you know the parties were done, uh, very very sad interruption. Super Bowl day when I heard about the tragic passing of legendary actor Philip Seymour Hoffman over the weekend. This brought back so many um, just bad memories for me of all these celebrities whose uh, you know passing I've covered in my career. It made me think about Heath Ledger. Uh, I was one of the first reporters at the scene of his apartment when he died of an overdose. It made me think of Whitney Houston when I was getting a phone call from Fox News Channel to hurry up and get to the studio to you know, talk about her passing. And it's just such a sad thing. Philip Seymour Hoffman was actually sober for 23 years, which is such an accomplishment. Uh, when he was 22 years old, he was very much into drugs and alcohol. He knew it was really uh, a bad thing for him and he wanted to clean his act up and he did. But just last year, he ended up relapsing and he was in rehab um, being treated for uh, snorting heroin, which is just uh, it just breaks my heart to even hear of these things. I was invited uh, on the Nancy Grace show last night to talk about it. This is a really big story in the news, and I really would like to hear from some of our studio audience members, you know, kind of what your thoughts are about this, this constant, you know, this constant sadness in Hollywood about these, you know, celebrities that the only thing that they feel they can turn to um, is drugs. So, Jackie, do we have um, someone that can weigh in on this? Hi. Yeah, I think it's just addiction is a terrible disease, and I just think it's really horrible what happened, and um, I pray for his family. It's really, really sad. That's, that's actually really sweet. Um, you know, a lot of, no, no st stand up, I want to ask you, a lot of people have described this as, you know, just plain stupid, and there's been a lot of, you know, a lot of people have been angry about that because they think people are the, the victims of addiction. It's not something that they choose. What are your personal thoughts about that? 
Well, like I said, addiction is a disease. Um, it's not something that is, can be cured. So after 23 years, it doesn't surprise me that maybe he relapses. So, um, you know, you can just pray that other people get the help that they need. Absolutely. Very well put. Do, thank you very much for your thoughts. I really appreciate it. Um, is there someone else in the audience who uh, would like to weigh in on this? I'd love to hear your, your thoughts about this, this story. Hi. Hi. It's just a, a, such a waste of such a great talent for all those years, all those many movies that he was in. It's just a real shame that we don't have him anymore. It really is. Very, very well put. Well, thank you, audience members, so much for weighing in. I really appreciate it. What a sad time in, in Hollywood. Um, if you would like to become part of our studio audience and share your opinions about things, please email celebritycorneraudience at gmail.com for free tickets. Um, and on a lighter note, as a thank you to our audience for being here today, we're sending each one of you home with a bag of my favorite snack, Pop Chips. Pop Chips, uh, Pop Chips is asking how you will bring the fun in 2014, no resolutions required, to enter for a chance to win a year of fun food and fitness, including a trip for two to celebrity trainer Jillian Michaels' Maximize Your Life Tour, a one-year subscription to Fit Fusion magazine, and a one-year supply of Pop Chips. Find out more details at popchips.com backslash bring the fun, or follow Pop Chips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And viewers at home, Pop Chips is giving one lucky viewer a three-month supply of snacks delivered to your home or office. Simply tweet at Dorothy on TV with hashtag bring the fun, and tell us how you plan to bring the fun in 2014. We'll choose one lucky winner after tonight's show. And remember, with Pop Chips, no resolutions required. And tonight on Celebrity Corner, we are definitely bringing the fun. Coming up, we have serial entrepreneur and friend Jen Groover with celeb-inspired tips on finding more zen in your hectic life. We can all use some of that. And we're also trying out the hottest workout craze in Hollywood with one lucky studio audience member. And we're showing part two of my wedding video, The Vows. Stay right there.